Subway, the Corner Pantry, and the Argyle Food Market are locally owned by Mr. Nick Patel, who thanks the Clinch County Homerville communities for all their support. Subway, located on West Dame Avenue in Homerville, is the go-to place for nutritious, healthy food. We have catering platters to meet all your tailgating needs. Don't forget to drop by the Corner Pantry in Homerville and the Argyle Food Market in Argyle and pick up all the items you need at the best discount prices in Clinch County. Nick says, Go Panthers! Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Hello and welcome again to the Country Table. We're so glad you could join us today. We are honored and delighted to have a very special guest with us today who's going to sort of oversee me in the kitchen. His name is Greg Buchanan. Greg, come on and join us. He is from Southern California, LA to be specific, and he is, as he characterizes himself, a hallelujah harpist at large. <laughs> Greg, Greg, Greg was. I'm just a ticket and a grinning. <laughs> Let me just say that he can get sounds from a harp that you have never <laughs> dreamed of. He is one of the most amazing musicians I have ever heard, and he's on a tour this fall through the United States and is in the eastern part of the country right now, obviously for several play dates and we're just thrilled to have him with us. Greg's history was he was the solo harpist for the United States Naval Orchestra for about four years, and then in secular music for some period of time, but he was saved in 1981 and really felt a conviction that he was to use his gifts for the, for, to spread the gospel, to further the kingdom, and he's been doing that ever since. He's slowed down a little bit in the last few years. He's not going quite as hard as he used to, but we are just thrilled to have him here with us. Well, it's really good to be with you. Well, good. Anything you want to make a comment about before we start? Well, it's just I just love, uh, one of my favorite things to do with my beloved, who has a, a deep love and appreciation for the culinary art like you do, we watch cooking shows together, and it's just a hoot. To, I mean, because in Los Angeles, the stuff that you guys take for granted, we don't really have smokers and cookers and stuff. Some of the stuff that you guys have down here, as a matter of fact, my wife wants to get me a special smoker, electric smoker, so I can do some of the, the special kind of smoked meats that you guys do in this part of the world. Okay, well this grill that we're going to be using today would do both oh, because you can it. smoke with it or grill with yes, it. Yes, right. I was telling Greg we're going to be grilling shish kebabs today, chicken, marinated chicken yum, tenders. Yum and we're going to cut up some vegetables and we already have some pineapple on skewers and this this grill is a uh, fully electric and it is a pellet grill yes and at low temperatures it lets you smoke but then at higher temperatures you're grilling just as though you're on a conventional well, will grill. it go low and slow for say like 11 hours if you're yes. doing a brisket oh yes. man what a machine this is what becky needs to know yes. about yes yes she does okay well let's get started as i said we're going to be doing some marinated chicken tenders 
and these vegetables are going, going to go on the skewers. I'd already cut up one onion. Let's do another one quickly. And we have some bell pepper that we'll add for color and flavor. I have a confession to make for some of you cooks, and it's um, about getting the strips off of these peppers. When I first started to cook, most of the recipes back in the dark ages <laughs> would say a bell pepper cored and seeded. And so for years, I worked to extract the core and extract all the seeds. And finally, one day I realized, silly, all you have to do is cut those strips away from the core and then That's you perfect. save all that. However, I will save make a all that effort. No harpist would ever do what you're doing. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just, it's so, it's, even to this day, when I watch a, someone with your skill cut like that, like my harp teacher would never, never allow us. But that, that's... Uh, Do you remember that I also have instruments? That's correct. <laughs> that's correct. Your piano. Look, I'm sure, I'm sure... It's a different to, set of... Yeah, you had to put a, a, a Band-Aid on one, one, <laughs> one time at least. Uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to be careful. I have cut myself a few times. Well, I, I tease children. I say, you know, I, a paper cut can take me out of two weeks of concerts. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Greg, tell us a little bit about where you've been on this concert tour and where you'll well, be going when you leave. All righty. Well, I'm on my one national uh, tour a year now. We're, we're sort of at that age where my beloved and I are taking care of my 92-year-old mama, which we do uh, all the time. and. And so we, we sort of feel like we can only do like one, one tour a year. So I'm on this one national tour. I started up just north of Baltimore at a Christian retreat center called The Cove and had a wonderful experience up there. Then went uh, down uh, to Washington DC area. And then I was just in Jacksonville, played at the, uh, the downtown First Presbyterian Church there that had a big concert that I did there. And now I'm on my way to Atlanta area but I get to spend a couple of days here at the Oasis and just sort of hang out and practice and just enjoy good cooking. And uh, those of you that live here don't realize how charming it is here. I mean, I tell the people when I stop at the supermarket, I said, you guys don't know how sweet you are. You're just this way. In Southern California, we have wonderful people, but culturally we don't, we're not as open we're a little, little standoffish. That doesn't mean we're black hearted. It just means that, you know, <laughs> it's different. Once, once you get past that initial barrier and you start just to talk, but like down in this part of the world, I can be getting gas at a filling station and I can just start talking to the other person getting wow. gas and they're just and as happy. Perfectly it's perfectly natural. I say, hi, I'm Greg from Los Angeles. I'm just going to say howdy and how you doing? And they're just very polite and not threatening. and. Wow. In Los Angeles, you do not talk to strangers at gas stations. And it's not that you're not being a friendly person, it's just that <laughs> you just risky. don't do it. It's risky. It, well, do people are nervous. They don't yeah. know, why are you talking to me? We don't do that here. We're not in South Georgia. They think you're up to something, you know? And so it's, it's a delightful thing to travel in this uh, Southeastern uh, region. Well, we're glad, and we're glad you're here. <laughs> These uh, chicken tenders that we have, I'm st even though chicken tenders are notoriously tender, mm -hmm. I'm still going to use the tenderizing mallet to whack them a few times, yes. and it, it ramps up the tender tenderness a little bit more. So we're going to get those done, and then we're going to cut them into pieces and put them in a marinade. The marinade I'm using today is just a packet of prepared good seasons Italian dressing mix and it makes yeah. a wonderful meat marinade if, yes. you've, if you've never tried it it really does no, a I great do. my, job my Becky but let me ask you a question as sure a, as a chef have you noticed there's a difference on how long one time I, I put it in the in the marinade too long and it affected the effect of the texture of the meat it actually was falling apart it was too, yeah, much, too it, much marinade. It will start to break it down after a while. And right. I don't know what those parameters are on the time limits. This we did the other day and probably 
marinated a couple of hours, I'd oh, say. Oh, really? Okay, so you can go a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. I, I think they were actually in the marinade for that long, and then I took them out and put them on the skewers, and I, and I know they sat coated in the marinade, right. because this is fairly clingy. They sat coated in the marinade for a good couple of hours. What my Becky will have me do is take olive oil. She always has an abundance of olive oil on the counters, and I just take a uh, little plastic baggie, and I put the, the chicken tenders in there right. and I pour the olive oil on it. Just put a little salt, a little pepper. Yes. And uh, sometimes you'll get like uh, oregano or some other kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But without the vinegar, um, I was wondering if, if the vinegar breaks it down more than if just if just you have the olive oil. I think the vinegar does do that. I think it has a lot to do with, it takes a, a pretty, a, a, pretty significant effect on the fibers of the meat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're just gonna pour this oh, marinade over it. I love it, I love it. And <laughs> we're gonna mix this up. And I wow, didn't, didn't hand myself a spoon. Let me grab one quickly. And we're, since you mentioned olive oil, we have that standing by. We're gonna coat the vegetables with that as well. It's yeah. easier to do that in a Ziploc bag than yes. to try to paint them. And of course you could, one option that you would have is to just go ahead and put them on the skewers and then paint them with olive oil. I'm, right. I may do that right. this particular time. All right, set that aside. That's ready to go after a short period. And let's see, let's put our pineapple over here out of the way and make some oh, room for the other things. This is gonna be so good. You wanna play? <laughs> you wanna? <laughs> Feel free to join right in. And I, I will point out, obviously, we're doing the fruits and the vegetables and the meat separately. Right. Because of the different cooking times, right. I've just decided it's easier to control that if they're not That's all great. on the same skewer together. So that turned out pretty well the other day. You want peppers or onions? Well, let, let me rinse my hands off first. Oh, I love it. I love it. A man who washes his hands well, the first you know, thing I, when he comes into I'm the a kitchen. i trained man. I've been married <laughs> for almost, well, I'm coming up on 34 years. Yes. And this precious woman has taken the wild man and trained him. I do dishes. I do pots and pans. I, I love take it. out the trash I love it. without any ulterior motives. I'm I just, love it. I'm just a little houseboy and I'm loving it. It's wonderful. It's I wonderful. I love my wife. She's so precious. I tell you what, while you finish getting dried off and set up, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right Good back. <laughs> Jerry J's has the best Boston butts and ribs around. Meat so tender and tasty that it practically melts in your mouth. We have a variety of home cooked meals and the best breakfast in town. And don't forget about our barbecue sandwiches. Jerry J's can cater your event and looks forward to serving you in Homerville, Waycross and Douglas. Oh yeah, if you can't make it to the game, drop by Jerry J's in Homerville to watch the game live on Creekbox TV while you enjoy one of the many items on our menu. Go Panthers! At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. 
In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Welcome back. Again, we're talking to Greg Buchanan, a world-class musician and world-class Christian. And we're <laughs> thrilled to have him here with us. Greg, while you're helping me with this Sure. Work. Tell us something about the kinds of venues where you typically play, your, your, some of your experiences mm -hmm. with that. Well, we typically, you know, play in local churches of all different sizes and stripes. Um, you know, we'll go into uh, a city and, you know, play maybe uh, one church Sunday morning, play another church on the other side of the city Sunday night. We go to all different denominations, all different stripes. Sometimes I describe our our uh, harp ministry as, as very diverse because, well, let me give you an example. A few years ago, I'm playing for a Billy Graham crusade at Mile High Stadium for 42,000 people. Wow. A week later, I'm in Oklahoma City playing for eight people at a retirement center, and four of them were fast asleep. Only four of them were awake. And I felt that was one of the most dynamic, diverse experiences. I mean, here, one minute I'm at a crusade, the next minute I'm playing for eight people, but I felt blessed in both cases. Sure. You know, and I go to schools. I, I check this out, Lisa. I go to maximum security prisons with a harp and a smile. I go to all kinds of places. <laughs> I go to schools. That's sort of brave. I it think. is, but you know what? Some of the finest Christians you'll ever meet are yeah. doing serious time. They may have yeah. gone in as scoundrels, but they found grace at the foot of the cross once they were incarcerated and they. They have very productive lives, and it's, uh, I go to s schools, I go to colleges, I go to s schools, hospitals. Um, I've even played concerts for, for people on their last breath. They're just getting ready to go to heaven, and I'm, my assignment is to play beautiful harp music for them as they're transitioning oh, for the family wow. and for the loved one. And man, those are, those are just intimate what little things, what right? But it is, and, and I'll tell you, if you've ever seen someone walking close to Jesus Christ die, mm -hmm. they die well. Yes, they they die well. The fear is gone. They're just, mm -hmm. they look forward to their reward. Mm -hmm. It's really magnificent. Now that's... And to be a part of the... Oh, look how artistic. That's lovely. <laughs> you have such a nice distribution of color and shape. I'm impressed. I can almost I hear my, my beautiful little wife saying, no. Make it equal, make it even, don't use too much. <laughs> That's right, and here I am just throwing stuff on the skewers. You're doing it artistically. No, doing it beautiful. I like the way you're, you're doing this, though. This is what I'm going to suggest to my beloved, saying that we had different skewers for the, the fruit and for the meat and for the veggies, and we're going to cook them at different, little different times. I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know... I don't know why my Becky doesn't do that. Well, a lot of times, and I, th I think one of my daughters suggested that actually, because a lot of times you'll have an overcooked pineapple or exactly. an overcooked whatever exactly. because you're waiting on the meat. Exactly, so. exactly. Of course, I notice you have the, the vegetables cut just right. I think that's important too, to have them the right size and shape. Sometimes when I've tried to do this, I cut the vegetables too big and they don't lay right on them. <laughs> I know that sounds silly. They're always challenges, aren't they? <laughs> it's never as easy They're as always it's supposed challenges. to be. <laughs> All right, let me get the stuff off this platter and I think we'll put those skewers on this, this so I can good, good, so good. I can paint them with some olive oil. Oops. So interesting for you to share with me the therapeutic aspects of all of them. I just think that's so interesting. Yeah, it it really is the tree of life, isn't it? Yeah, Becky uses my Becky uses a lot of olive oil in her cooking. She gets these big bottles. Maybe <laughs> 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 use it by the gallon sometimes. Buy it. it in bulk. Yep, yep, yep. No, I like that. 
Yeah. What's the fancy little I like th this thing? That's that's going over. That's real just much. a little sort of a I think it's a silicone brush okay. and it it's always to me seemed a lot easier to keep clean than right. one that has regular bristles. Because I'm used to using the ones with the bristles, which doesn't I don't think work quite as well as this one. Yeah, and it is so pliable it really gets in all the nooks and crannies mm. well for you, so it does work pretty well that way. Okay, I don't think we'll coat the pineapple. I think we'll let them speak for themselves without the, <laughs> without the enhancement of olive oil. We're going to give this meat just a little bit longer to marinate, mm -hmm. and then we're going to fire up the Rectech grill. Oh, I'm, I'm getting excited and, about this grill. And we'll get, we'll get this meal underway. How about that? <laughs> that sounds wonderful. All right. We decided to come on out and get the grill heated up while the meat continues to marinate inside. We're not, we're not doing paid advertising for right. Rectech grills, but this right. is a really neat grill. It's all electric. <laughs> it uses wood pellets. You don't have to bother with charcoal or gas bottles. And essentially, you set the temperature and, and it does the work. You can smoke with it, you can grill with it, so it really is a versatile piece of equipment. And we're going to get it turned on here and adjust the temperature setting. Oops, I missed it. 350. Now, how much can you, I mean, could you put in a, say, like a, a rack of ribs, uh, you know, so I mean, how, how much, can, okay, yeah, you got enough. There's, it does hold quite a bit, yeah, I mean, honestly. You can do a whole, a whole, it does. Uh, big, uh, big production. I think so. I think so. I don't know that we've ever tried to max out the capacity, but yeah, it does hold quite a bit. Well, the only time we have big parties are for Fourth of July and for you know Thanksgiving and stuff. We'll have uh, you know, like maybe fifty or sixty people over, and I. I never have enough grill space. I mm -hmm. just never feel mm -hmm. like it's, 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 you know, so we cook it in advance and. In stages, probably. In stages. And, you know, yeah. Becky keeps it warm in the oven and stuff. Sure. And it's, okay. it's not bad, but. Sure. But when you have that kind of grill space, then you can uh, have more options. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just get two or three of these. Have oh, them all going at the same time. <laughs> that, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to leave that in to heat up. It takes a few minutes to come up to the temperature. If the indicator is here on the side, it'll let us know when it's reached 350. And we'll go back and check on the chicken, see how it's doing. Sounds good. Carter's Fried Chicken in Homerville has become the gold standard for fried chicken barbecue and catering. Carter's also offers a full menu of other tasty items and is open on Sunday. Thanks Chad Brown for making dining at Carter's a family tradition in Homerville. Go Panthers! Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Huddle up! That's right, huddle up at the Huddle House in Homerville in Lakeland before or after the game. And if you can't make it to the game, watch all the live action here at the Huddle House. Remember, Huddle Houses of Homerville and Lakeland have a full menu with something for everyone with prices that can't be beat. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, 24 hours per day, Huddle House is a game-winning recipe for the entire family. Go Clinch County Panthers, go Lanier County Bulldogs, and don't forget, huddle up at the Huddle House. While the grill is heating up, we are going to come back and put this chicken on the skewers, Greg, and get it ready to go on. You were telling me during the break, just hands are fine. Uh, our hands are clean. We, so our hands are clean. We just we're washed ready. our hands. So just poke them on these skewers and we'll be all set. Beautiful. You told me during the break that sometimes you have ventured into the realm of cooking with Becky's detailed instructions yes, and yes. you were a little surprised because the recipients of that cooking said wow this is really good and I told you that I always tell people who say that they can't cook because you were a little uncertain a little in Very insecure about yes. it I always say can you read <laughs> yes 
can you follow instructions? Yes. Well, then you can cook. And it's really, it really comes down to that, doesn't it? Well, but I'm cooking for my 92-year-old homebound mom that we take care of, and she's eating my wife's made-from-scratch specialty meals night after night. Of course I'm going to be nervous. Yeah, but you followed Becky's Yeah, and I, I, will confess to you, I will confess to you, when my mom looks over at me, and says it's really good tonight, honey. But I do. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite at, at the place my, my sweetheart is. But the joy of cooking good food for a loved one is thrilling. I it's, mean, it's. I can it's see why, why some of the people that are watching the program are trying to learn how to, to do some things and just really want to get into it. It's really. I, our, one of our kids is this way. Our our second boy cooks for his beloved. She she gets wow. home about two hours after he does. He works for the water department, comes mm -hmm. home, and he is a fabulous cook. And he loves it. I think men who are good cooks are just really good cooks. I think guys who take it seriously and want to do it mm -hmm. typically do it very, very well. Well, I'm surprised that my son took to it to the degree that my wife did, because my, my wife is absolutely loves doing. Now, I, I have a deal with my wife. She cooks, I'm the cleanup boy. Yay, that's a good and, arrangement. And I'm telling you, I may not be able to do all the fancy cooking, but I can clean up that kitchen <laughs> the way she likes it. And she always, she always thanks me, said, thank you for polishing the kitchen last night. Aww. It was just beautiful. Is she a messy cook? She's a terribly messy cook. <laughs> but I told her, I said, honey, I don't care if you're a messy cook. I can clean up anything you dish anything at me. Anything you can mess up, but she, I can yeah, clean she, up. I'm, now, I'm the opposite. I'm extremely fastidious. That doesn't surprise me. I, I, I measure, it's almost like a science project. <laughs> I pre-measure everything. I have it all set out. Oh, thank you. And I'm very scientific. I don't have that uh, spontaneous. Like my wife will not use recipes. I'm sure you're this way too. She'll you just, just have that sensitivity. Like you know how much to do it. For me, like I would have never just poured. So I would have had it in like a measuring cup. And then when I pour it, if I'm sitting in it, I'll go wash it. And wash. I mean, it's just a totally different style of doing it. But. I think it helps me be organized because she can have like five or six pots going and she doesn't get upset. I get very nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I've got the, the corn going, i got the barbecue going, you know, I'm checking the meat. And, oh, guess how she has me doing steaks now. You probably know this trick. On an iron skillet, you take a very high quality filet mignon, you brown it on either side on the iron skillet, you stick it in a 400 oven for about four to five minutes. All you do is put a little salt and pepper on it, mm -hmm. and you've got the most beautiful, medium rare cooked steak. Now it smokes wow. the house up, that's the one argument. Yeah. But I, my wife says some of the restaurants, fancy restaurants, cook it like that. Are doing that. High heat, yeah, How very about fast that? cooking. I don't know if you, if you, uh, I have, have not done tried that. that. Mm -mm. That sounds delicious. Well, she made a believer out of me. So <laughs> probably once or twice a month, I'm smoking the house up. But just remember when you talk about the fact that you get very nervous when you're trying to balance five six. Well, it's because my wife's so good at it. I mean, well, she's, she's just done really, it for a lot longer yeah, than she you. Just, she's, I, I describe her, she's worth three good women. <laughs> she's the chef, she's the sous chef, she's the, you know, the char. I mean, I'm. Keeps I'm, you on track. She keeps me on track. And oh, and I'm also the gopher boy. Like if she forgets something, she'll write out a menu and send me down to the store. And and I'm so bad at that that she now really has to draw pictures, tells me what part of the store it's in, and I can still get it wrong. I mean, it's the most embarrassing thing. But you come back with the with the right oh, I stuff. Go, I, I go back down again if it's not what she wants. I tell I'm sorry, honey. I don't know. Temporary insanity. I'll um, do better I'll this do time. Right. I'll do better. <laughs> Oh, me. Oh, I, think we're, I think this is going to work. This is I think this will work. Good. I think this will work. Let's go see if that grill has gotten Ooh, hot enough. Outstanding. Okay, Greg, we're going to put everything on the grill. It has that's, reached its temperature. Awesome. I'll let you do the fruits and vegetables. That's okay. I'll lift a few off for you. I'm, I've already finished the meats. Meat. Let me space them out a little bit here. 
Wow, you do have a lot of space here. That's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, that's that helps a lot. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Wow. We're gonna let those cook, and we'll come back and check on them in just a few minutes. Oh, great. Okay, Greg, it's time it's to turn to everything. We've let them cook for about 10 minutes. Right. We're gonna flip everything over. Okay. And go another roughly 10 minutes or so. Okay. Mine are a little challenging to turn without dumping some of the meat off. Right. You didn't do this one yet, did you? No. Oh, this far? Okay. It's nice and colorful for sure. Oh, sorry. Greg, everything is done. I'm ready for you to have a taste test. Beautiful. We made a little packet here of yellow rice to go with it and marinated vegetables, which we've talked about before on the country table. And so I think this, this meal is ready to serve. Can I get you to have a taste test? I would love it. There you are, Thank sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mmm. Mmm. You approve? Very much. Okay. Well, yeah, great. The marinade came out just right. Well, good. Good deal. That's good to know. Mm. We thank you so much for joining Thanks us today. For You're me. welcome anytime at the country table. Thank you so We'd much. We'd like to have you bring recipes sometime <laughs> and demonstrate them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's only fair. Well, thank thank you. you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next time on the country table.
seed can provide nearly all of your farming related needs including seed, corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides, and a large variety of other farm products. Evelie and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out of town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. Jeff Brown and Eric Lutz make it a priority to know their clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. They offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers!